Firstly, we will go to the introduction of rice. What is rice? Rice is the seed of a semi-aquatic grass, or is a sativa, that is cultivated extensively in warm climates in many rice and the countries, for its edible grain. It is a staple food throughout the world. Next is other uses of rice. As we know, rice is a basic food in our daily life. But, actually rice also can be used for feeding domestic animals, chopped straw, the bran and other uses. There are many types of rice. Firstly is red rice, secondly is white rice, third is basmati rice, fourth is glutinous rice and lastly is brown rice. Do you know, who is grows the rice? For your information, rice are grown by more people than any other crop in the world. There are 158 million hectares of harvested area and more than 144 million rice farms worldwide. Second part on this slide is life cycle of rice. In life cycle of rice, there are have been divided into five stage. First stage is raw material extraction. Second stage is manufacturing. Third stage is distribution and transportation. Fourth stage is the uses of rice. And the last stage in end of life the rice. We will go to the first stage. The first stage is raw material extraction. For the raw material extraction, the methods of growing differ greatly in different localities, but in most Asian countries the traditional hand methods of cultivating and harvesting rice are still practiced. The fields are prepared by plowing, fertilizing, and smoothing. First of all, the seedlings are started in seedling beds. After 30 to 15 days, are transplanted by hand to the fields, which have been flooded by rain or river water. During the growing season, irrigation is maintained by dike controlled canals or by hand watering. The fields are allowed to drain before cutting. And the paddy production processes requires fertilizer, pesticides, mechanical field operation and irrigation which is can increase the likelihood of a larger yield. Next. Second stage is manufacturing. For the manufacturing, the rice straw collecting process will use the baler machine, tractor and stump cutting machine. For the third stage is distribution and transportation. In this stage, the paddy will be collected from rice straw to the collection center to be processed. And then, from the collection center, it will go to the power generation. The fourth stage in this life cycle is used. The rice being used by all consumer as a basic food or daily food. The last stage of life cycle is end of life. In the end of life, the rice can be as a one of the food waste. It is because of behavior of human which is greedy and take many of food in one's time. So, the food can be the food waste. Next, the impacts of the product to the environment. There are have some impacts to the environment. Firstly, consume the highest energy in farming stages due to nitrogen fertilizer. Consumption of fertilizer, pesticide and agriculture machinery use were major contributors to the total energy consumption. Energy consumption of paddy production included both direct and indirect energy. Secondly, disposing of paddy straw residue is open burning. Disposing of paddy straw residue is through open burning. So, it can contribute to climate change, acidification, eutrophication, and other environmental problems. Thirdly, the impact from transportation. The highest contribution to GHG emissions was from transportation with 57.48% of the CO2 emission. For the last part in this video is conclusion and references. 
for the conclusions, rice straw power plants not only could solve the problem of removing rice straw from fields without open burning, but also could reduce GHG emissions that contribute to climate change, acidification, and eutrophication, among other environmental problems. For the life cycle impact assessment, the CML, Centrum Vermilion Kund Leiden, 2001 method was used and also the environmental impacts considered include acidification, climate change, eutrophication, toxicity and summer smog. Actually, the different methodologies will give similar characterization results for impact categories such as climate change and acidification.